Yusuf. Yusuf. Hey, hey, I'm going to get a body lick up, body lick up. Hey. Hey, why don't you slow? Flip him over, flip him over. Let me get water. Keep him on his side, keep him on his side, hey, on his side, on his side. Let go of the camera! You freaking... Bro, bro, I'm sorry, hey, honestly. Hold on, we were just, we were just, it was just, honestly, it was just... Bro, at least turn off the camera, please. Hey, 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 hey,
because this is the person FoosyTube is, shoving his money under the nose of the desperate to make himself look good. It's kind of like saying, giving money to charity, spending some money advertising that fact, and then not giving to charity, but still making money from saying you gave to charity. You go out, you buy a new scooter, pretty little bell for it ringer every five fucking minutes to remind everyone you've bought it, even though, it was meant to be a birthday present for little Sally, the one-legged girl with the cleft palate, and you just fucking kept it. Oh! The 99% of fake pranks on YouTube have not hurt people. Okay, I don't really argue this point. I mean, I could say that faking pranks might encourage others to do it for real, and there are several problems there, but I'm gonna give you this one, Earthworm Jim. Fake pranks might be cancer but they don't physically hurt people. The problem with you faking pranks is that for over three years, you have actively misled people into believing they are real. And your reasons for doing so have always been primarily for monetary gain and for the fact that you try to justify them. The ones that I try to do, try to uplift people, try to inspire people. They don't. They love seeing people go through misfortunes as long as it's not happening to them. Why? Because it's entertaining. Does that make it right? Hell no. Truth is, I honestly don't give a fuck if FoosyTube wants to fake pranks. Yeah, but I did done, I did done a thing that is quite, well, quite good, but I don't care, Foosy. Faking pranks just makes you a rat, but I'm okay with rats. Got a podcast, by the way. It's pretty good. You should check it out. You're a 14 year old boy that's sitting there calling people fucking names, all right? Like names at school, all right? Hoping that the big guy is gonna respond back to you to get some attention online. Is that who you are, Clyde? No, I wasn't. I, I wasn't doing it so. for attention. I was doing it for my own entertainment. Admit purposes. that you harassed me. Not harassment. <laughs> no, I will never admit, admit it. it. I will never admit, admit it, Kim. But if it makes you feel better, I feel bad for calling you a rat all those many times. No, you don't. No, I don't. You're right. I don't feel bad. <laughs> People hear what they want to hear. They see what they want to see, and they believe what they want to believe. And that's why he's gotten away with it for so long. Even to this day, there are still some idiots out there that don't realize his pranks are fake. If anybody knows about fake shit, it's me. I know every video that's fake. It's obvious. I'm in the community. I know everybody who fakes shit. I know exactly how it is. Obvious, okay? So I do know. I'm not hiding from that. And I know, and it was fake. But I mean, you hid from it for over three years, Fusi. Like, it's great that you're admitting it now. Like, great, good for you. But it took you three fucking years, right? Over three fucking years. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like the first fucking time that you've ever publicly admitted it. <laughs> But like I said, most fake pranks, not really a big deal. As long as you're not hiding the fact they're fake, I say go to fucking town. There are some people that are genuinely entertained by them. I don't know why, but there are. Of course, massive cunts like myself are still probably going to criticise you for them because, you know, it's fucking terrible content. But in fairness to Fusidub, I've seen ones that were much worse than most of his. But faking pranks isn't quite the same thing as faking social experiments. And the ones on Fusidub's channel represent the best worst of them. Baking social experiments is 100% wrong. I'm not okay with social experiments. I'm 100% against them and that's why you will not see me do them anymore and that's why you will see me call out anybody who does a fake social experiment now and tell everybody that it's wrong. 100 percent wrong. And yet every single one of them is still up and monetized. It's kind of like saying spitting on the elderly is 100% wrong. I'm never going to spit on these old fuckers again, but this fucking witch is already covered in spit. And because of a crippling arthritis, this withered old crow can't even wipe it off. So I'm just going to keep fucking spitting on her while the children laugh and throw coppers. And by the way, I'll be spitting on anyone else who spits on this filthy old bitch because I'm the only one that should get to spit on her. The homeless child experiment. The bullying experiment, what if the homeless gave you money, the kidnapping children experiment, the public rape experiment, the suicide experiment, 
The Kanye West Yeezys experiment, pretending to be famous experiment, a reason to smile, giving Jordans to the homeless, the bald experiment, the substitute teacher experiment, texting and driving experiment. Are there wrongs in those social experiments? Personally, I'm gonna say no. This is what I don't understand. He's literally said faking social experiments is 100% wrong. But less than two minutes later, he's retracted the statement. So faking social experiments is 100% wrong, but see, when he does it, it's okay. The problem is not his broken and biased logic here. The problem is he's talking absolute shit. Even if one or two of his fake social experiments were wrong, that would be enough to prove him false. But I can find a flaw in every single one of them. Even the couple that are actually authentic. Some are a lot worse than others, admittedly, but the point is there isn't a single one that was made with good intent. Is that a bold statement? Most definitely. But I'm going to talk about all of them, not just the ones that are particularly bad, and prove to you that that is indeed the case. See, there's a difference between my experiments and a lot of the experiments on YouTube. My experiments are not trying to push an agenda. They're not trying to vilify a certain group or a certain, you know, type of people. My experiments are trying to push a message. <laughs> Texting and driving experiment. Don't text and drive. Ignore the fact for a minute that his main agenda is views, money, and subscribers. He's saying he's faked this particular one because he wants his message to say, you shouldn't text and drive. Yeah, that's the fucking message. Don't text and drive. And it's a pretty obvious message. And I get that people still do it, but excluding the fact that millions of dollars are spent promoting this message every year doesn't matter, since it's against the fucking law and people already know not to do it. Even if this social experiment were real, and it's fucking not. There still aren't any consequences for people pretending to text and drive in the video. He's just recording actors' reactions. So what he's actually done is manipulate a good message in order to fabricate a negative scenario where he's creating conflict with a driver so that the viewers have someone to hate. People love to hate. And that's why many of his experiments have been somewhat popular. Now, this is far from his worst one, but it is a perfect example of him flying under a positive message when both intention and result were in fact negative. And this is the case for nearly every single video he's ever fucking made. Everything about them is negative, but they are disguised under a cloak of positivity. BoosyTube doesn't give a fuck if you text and drive. He only cares about the traffic, traffic that's directed towards his channel. The suicide experiment. If you have a friend or family member who's going through suicide, are you gonna help them in the time of need? Do you even realize that they're going through something? Maybe you had the opportunity to talk to them and see how they were doing, but you chose not to. Here's how to prevent that in the future. What? What are you gonna do? What are you trying to do here? I told you, it's, life is hard, I can't handle it, I'm gonna jump. You cannot jump off this. Why? Because- Life is hard, I can't, I, I, life is rough for me, I don't wanna live anymore. Once again, this is an experiment masquerading as a positive message. He states his reasons for making it are so people are able to spot the signs of a family member being suicidal, and what you should do once you've identified these signs. But these signs are literally FusiTube and his mentally fucked friend, Roman Atwood, pretending to jump off a fucking bridge, and having a paid actor physically tell them not to do it not teaching anything that isn't obvious. This is just his cover story to justify a video that he knows will bring in the views. The title, the nature of the experiment itself, and the video's content have everything to do with views. It's abusing a serious issue for monetary purposes, and then hiding that fact behind a message they claim could save people's lives. When it doesn't. Do you understand? Yeah. Works every time. This is factored into why he chooses very specific subject matters like suicide and rape. The audience is often compelled to obey the message, and that's because FusiTube has tricked them into believing they're doing a good deed. He's not telling you to share this video to benefit others. He's telling you to share it because when you do, he will get more views, more money, and more subscribers. The bullying experiment. Here's why you shouldn't bully people, even at a grown age, like on a college campus. Here's how to prevent it if you see it happening. Hey, everybody looking right now. There's a camera right there, and you guys just walked away from a guy getting brutally beat, and you guys did nothing to help him. To stop bullying in America would be really sincere and kind of you guys to try to do something to stop something like that at hand. 
instead of just walking away and acting like blind victims to something that's going on. I'm done with this video, y'all. This is a joke. His message in this video is to stop bullying. And while he's happy to play the hero and can turn it in this video, he'll then promote it in this video and laugh like a hypocritical maniac while a paid actor threatens his friend with a knife. You said! You said! Stop! No! Dude! I swear it's a prank! You have pussy! You have pussy! Pussy, dude! Stop him! It's a prank! Stop! 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 Boosytube is a chronic narcissist, so much so that when you tell him to go fuck himself, he genuinely wishes he could. It's probably the only explanation for a video titled The Bold Experiment. See, for several years, Foosytube has been losing his hair. Not really a big deal, but for him it's possibly the equivalent of losing an eye. All he does in the video is condemn women for not being attracted to the fact he's bold. And bear in mind, he's literally paid every single one of them. Keep it rolling. Can you believe that? I just tried to give her a little rose and say have a beautiful day and she like totally dissed me. What is wrong with girls? The message of the video, or at least what I took away from it is, there's nothing wrong with being bold. And women who judge you for looking like a fucking egg are entirely shallow. But I don't think FoosyTube can even believe his own message, since there's a ton of fucking evidence to suggest that he's tattooed his own. This is a guy that's changed his body shape more times than fucking putty. Pedicures, manicures, regularly has his eyebrows done. Like, there's metrosexual, and then there's just... gay. Oh. My. God. Ali, keep recording her. I can- I'm like speechless right now. Keep recording her. Keep recording her. She- I, when she said I know who you are, I thought she was gonna say Fousey Tube. I said, you know I'm a singer? She goes, yeah. She's such a liar. Again, all he achieves in this video is to make women look like shit. She's an actress that is pretending to be a gold digger, and Fousey Tube is pretending to be a fucking rock star. The only thing this video resulted in was sexist remarks in the comment section. He condemns people, in this case, women, and at the same time makes himself look like some kind of god. All he does in this one is give flowers to random women and condemn the ones that don't accept them. Real or fake, it doesn't matter. It's just making him look good, and that's got to be the main purpose of the video. Doing something for entertainment purposes is a very good defense. It's why he likes to use it quite a lot. But how the fuck is giving flowers to random women on the street supposed to be entertaining? Doesn't really fit the mold of all his other videos, does it? It's just pandering to his audience. I mean, at one point in the video, he gives one to someone in a fucking wheelchair. <sighs> He's chased her down like a fucking cheater. I'm not trying to justify myself. I'm not trying to make myself seem like the good person. See that? That's a Benz. You gotta earn your way up, pal. That was the most pretentious thing I've heard today and I've been doing this all day. Yo, but how much money you got in your heart? Sounds like you're pretty broke. It doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter what car you drive, it matters how humble you are in your heart and you're not really humble saying all that. Life isn't about money, bro. I'm not even freaking homeless. How does this prove it? I just want to be a helping hand today. God bless. What? God bless, I'm just trying to help out. I don't need your money, you asshole. I can f***ing buy you. The fact that people to this day still don't know it's fake is actual insanity. Ruin my whole freaking mood. We're done with this video. Let's go. What he's doing is painting a picture of society to be worse than it really is and calling it a photograph. Wait, wait, sir. Sir. What? I'm just trying to help you out today. I don't need help. Mate, piss off, man. There isn't a message here, he's just once again inciting hate within the people that watch the video. The paid actors are the villains, and he, FoosyTube, is the hero. He will, most of the time, blur the face of anyone that he portrays to be particularly villainous. But with this guy, that's not the case. So what if one of the millions of people that watch the video attack this guy for real? I appreciate this sounds like a very unlikely scenario to you, but trust me, people really are that stupid. A few years ago, here in the UK, I remember the case of some particularly brain-dead individuals beating the fuck out of a doctor, because they thought a paediatrician and a paedophile were the same thing. Literally millions of people still don't know that this guy is an actor, and FoosyTube 
doesn't give a shit. I mean, only after three years did he even hint that his videos were fake in the first place. You go to this one, there's nothing that tells you it's fake. Not in the title, not in the video itself, not even buried in the description. And this is what you have to understand. Boosytube wants you to think this video is real. He wants you to condemn these people as villains. Everybody loves to condemn someone for something. And that makes the video more entertaining to you, and thus more popular. Ergo, more fucking money. But most importantly, he wants you to think that amidst all this carnage, he's the fucking comic book superhero that saves the day. He doesn't. I'm giving it to homeless people and people in need who want one. I love you so much. I appreciate you. I love you guys and I care for you guys. I would not have been able to lose the weight if it wasn't for you. I would not have been able to battle my depression and my bipolar if it wasn't for you. I would not have made it through rehab if it wasn't for you. I would not have become the person I am today if it wasn't for you. You are everything. You are the life of YouTube. You are everything to me. That's why I support you so much and that's why I love you so much. You know, I'm so happy everyone's having a great time. I'm so happy everyone's, you know, positive and happy, but... I'm just wondering if he's implemented this as part of a sponsorship deal. He's hardly a talented actor, is he? He spent a good three minutes forcing out a single tear. Look at the concentration. Like he could burst into flames any fucking second, and this is the result. Absolutely pathetic.
What about all the other good stuff I've done in my life? This sentence is entirely broken. What about the times I've given to charity? People who use giving to charity to call themselves good people aren't good people by default. Charity, by its definition, is a selfless act. So to use it to your argument's advantage pretty much removes its entire purpose. What about the times I've helped my friends out? Well, this is what we call normal human behavior. The fact you even use this point to prove you're a good guy just shows how desperate you are to find positive things to say about yourself. What about the times I bought my parents a house? You didn't! Welcome to the DOF house. He's literally titled the video, Bought My Parents a House. Except the house is in his name, he owns 100% of the property, and he's the one who's going to live in it when he gets married. But basically, his parents, who are quite elderly, are just going to live in it for a bit. They're going to do all the work decorating, plus they're your parents and the house is empty anyway, so it's like, nice, but it's not a big deal, is it? You're not really giving them the house, you're just kind of letting them live there, so... Fuck have you bought your parents a house? Especially if it's their first it's home. It's for you. Okay, well I'm happy. It's for me and my we future wife. House. It's for me and my future wife. That's correct. All oh, right, mate, I bought you this house. Well, uh, yes, but no, 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 you didn't. Yeah, but I did buy you this house though, right? Well, you kind of bought it for you. Like, we're just going to live here for a bit. Like, thanks very much and everything, but, you know, it's still yours. Fussy. No, but I did buy it though. You yeah, know, you did buy it, you did buy it. I I'm not saying you didn't buy it, but you bought it for you, Fussy. Okay? Yeah, but you're fucking living in it, mate. Yes, we are. We are. And thank you, but... Yeah, you're fucking welcome. It's pretty nice I bought my parents a house, I reckon. Most people, most of the children won't do that. I'm a good guy, I think. No, 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 no. You are a nice guy. You are a nice guy. I don't dispute this point. I, 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 I'm just saying that... Why are you being so ungrateful? I just bought you a fucking ass. I'm very grateful. I mean, it's just that it's your house. I'm just going to live in it. I'm just going to do the decorating. Shut up. I'm going to be telling everyone on the internet that I bought you a fucking ass. Well, well, you can do that, but you didn't really. Is you calling Moy a lawyer? But it's kind of like, uh, not factual. Like, the truth, true, true title would be something like, mm, I'm letting my parents stay in my house for... For, for free. Oh no, darling. That wouldn't work with the algorithm at all. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good point, that. My friends are idiots. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking notice. Fusi, you've got a pig on your head. No, I don't. No, you've literally got a pig on your head. You are literally saying this with a pig on your head. No, I fucking don't. And no, Fusi, trust me, there is a pig on your head. I do not fucking don't. Fusi, you've got a fucking pig on your head! Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Got a new haircut, innit? But why? Well, I don't fucking know, do I? You, you, you've got a fucking pig on your head! Alright, but I did buy this ass. It's a much bigger wormhole than a lot of you guys know. It doesn't matter how hard you've fallen. It doesn't matter how badly you've hit the ground. It's never too late to get up. It's never too late to start fighting for what's yours. Fighting for what's right. The ability to love yourself. The ability to respect yourself. The ability to look in the mirror and appreciate who you are inside and outside. All you have in this world is your happiness and you cannot let that go. You have to remember who you are. You have to remember where you came from. You have to remember that you're enough. I am totally against exploiting the homeless for views on YouTube. I feel like it's become an oversaturated, tacky trend, especially when most of the videos are fake. He says he's totally against using the homeless for views. In the same video, he uses the homeless for views. He says it's a tacky trend and that most of these videos are fake, when the very video he says it in is not only unbelievably tacky, but entirely fake. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm barefoot. I've been barefoot. My feet are dirty right now. And I got to run all the way home, but I don't want to go barefoot because my feet hurt. Is there any, like, shoes you can give me to, like, I have my shoes that are on me. Are they clean? It didn't happen every time. I still had many failures. But in like a couple of weeks, I was able to get four people to offer up their shoes. This guy just hired four actors. So not only does he have some kind of 
superhero complex, but he's actually pretending that he's practically shattered from working a lot harder than he actually has. I have tried to get reactions for this video for one month. Since so many people said no to me doing this video, I have a lot of Jordans to still give away. Here's how you win. Step one, subscribe to all my channels. I have four. How's it going? What's up? You need a job? Yes, actually I do. Uh, what do you do? Uh, everything. I can build a house, I can build, I can put a car together. I mean, I'm, I'm personal with my hands, labor. How about I do my job for you? This homeless guy he effectively pimps out for views could very well be an actor. And if we've learned anything about Fusitube so far, I'd say it's a fairly safe bet. There have been a ton of YouTubers that have used the homeless for views in this way, and they're still doing it to this day. It's been condemned by the community multiple times. Anyone who's done it is 100% scum, and it's for points others have spoken about many times before. Ladies, I'd like to introduce you to the brand new Matthew! What's up? I don't believe it. He's actually made him look worse. Goofy here just tags along. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's just happy not to be hit by traffic. You know, he gets a bed for a night, he doesn't give a shit. When you've been surviving on nothing but a diet of mice for the last three weeks, you're just happy for a bit of a change. He says he got a job interview the next day. I mean, come on, that is a fucking lie. He went back on the street the next day, let's face it. I mean, two nights in a hotel room isn't a solution. He probably put it as a business expense. This is all about Boosie, and what a great fucking guy he is. This is about money, only made more fucking obvious by the fact the video, including the outro, is only nine minutes and 49 seconds long, and so Fuzzy puts 43 seconds of black screen just so he can make the video over 10 minutes and stick multiple ads on it. I mean, come on, you fucking idiots, he's so... The public rape experiment. A. What can a rapist look like? B. What to do if you hear a rape? C. Let's listen to an actual rape survivor story as to what it was like to be raped to bring light to this subject. According to Fusidube, this was the experiment he received the most criticism for. He pretends like he's raping someone in a bathroom and employs actors to either come in and stop it or simply walk away. The worst part about the experiment is the fact he claims it's based on a genuine rape story and even includes the survivor in the video itself. I was raped at the age of 13. Now I don't know which is worse, that this woman is an actor and the story is false or it's genuine and he's actually using someone who's lived through being raped as a child for his little freak show. If she's an actor, he's trivialized rape. If she's real, he's trivialized her. To be honest, all I had to do was apply a simple filter and I could see her clear as fucking day. I decided not to show it, just in case this isn't fake, so you may just have to trust me on that one. But if she is genuine, Fusidu really should have taken a bit more fucking care to hide her identity. Yes, okay, it's an easy mistake to make, but considering the subject matter, it's potentially a fucking massive one. Of course, whether she's an actor or not doesn't really matter, because in both cases, it's still kind of twisted. At this point, it's just a question of which one is worse? See, when you see a rape scene in a film, it's not necessarily trivializing rape because people know it's not real. The problem is we didn't know which parts were fake and which parts weren't. We didn't know these people were actors, and Fusidu went out of his fucking way to hide that. So therefore, we interpret the video almost entirely differently than we would have had we known otherwise. He takes very serious subject matter, reenacts it, and claims it's real because he knows that will make it more popular, and he justifies it due to its message, which while somewhat misleading considering the context of the experiment itself, is actually pretty good. But here's the thing. The message would still have been good had he made it clear from the beginning that the experiment was staged. And therefore, you cannot justify the video solely based on its message, not when you can still have that message in a social experiment that wasn't fake. Here's where I find a wrong. One experiment that I did called Change the Way You Think. In that experiment, what I did was, I had a black person chasing a white person, and the white person had a purse in his hand, and the black person was saying stop. And then I had the white person chasing the black person, and the black person was holding the purse, and the white person was screaming stop. Who did I have society stop? The black person, both times. Get him! Get him!
So this is the fake experiment most people seem to have a problem with, and there's a pretty good reason for it. The worst part is not the fact he's created a false perception of reality. It's not even the fact he's titled the video Change the Way You Think, when he's literally trying to change the way you think by making something appear real when it's not. It's for the fact he made this fake social experiment directly after an infamous tragedy, and even tried to dedicate the video to those it affected. This was a huge event at the time, racism in America, a topic very much under the spotlight, and he manipulated this fact for views, for money, for attention. He used the tragedy to give himself a platform to spread a message about racism, a message that transpired to be entirely staged. He justifies it by saying that racism exists and is very prevalent in America, stating that he wanted to spark that conversation, a conversation that had already been sparked, even before the victims' deaths. For the record, he sparked absolutely nothing. He didn't even fan the flames. He basically just sat around the fire, toasting marshmallows, milking the situation. Is racism an issue in America? Of course it is. I'm not even saying that Fusidip, who has no integrity whatsoever, shouldn't add something to that conversation. But if you're going to do it, don't fucking lie. Because all he's done here is manipulate footage and claim it as evidence of racism. Many people say that racism has been over-exaggerated, and by staging a racist event and claiming it's real, he is only contributing to that false mentality. The substitute teacher experiment. There are many children in third world countries who don't have the proper resources to get an education. Here's how we can fix that, and here's how you can donate. <laughs> You know, I almost believed him with this one, because if you watch it, he doesn't do anything he could be criticized for. The message is good, the kids probably learn something from it, it's boring as fuck, but it is promoting positive vibes. It's one of his less popular videos in the series, and he didn't do this for the reasons you can cite in all his other social experiments, so I know what you're thinking. If Fuzidub is such a bad guy... Why did you included a brand deal? In celebration of Microsoft's launch of Windows 10, we teamed up with Global Citizen to tackle one of their global goals, which in this case is education. Now, I don't really claim to know too much about brand deals, sponsorships, and how they fucking work, so I cannot confirm this 100%, but as I understand it, most companies require two things from the YouTuber to complete the transaction, a mention in the video and a link in the description, both of which are indeed the case here. Now, my theory is, and it is a theory, Microsoft paid him to make this video. The suicide experiment, the public rape experiment, the kidnapping children experiment, these are video titles that all fit a certain kind of mould. This one doesn't. This one is a little bit different. But the only reason he's done it is for money. So when you take that point and apply it to why he makes social experiments, it all becomes rather transparent. When he says his fake social experiments are made to promote a positive message, that's a complete lie. That is not the primary reason why he makes them. It's not a secondary reason. It's less a reason at all and more of a justificatory shield for making this type of content. At this point, we've covered all but three of his social experiments, one of which is this one, and pretty much all you have to do is go back to where I discussed the texting and driving experiment and simply replace the words don't text and drive with don't steal. That leaves us with the homeless child experiment and the kidnapping children experiment, the former being, in my opinion, the worst one he made. Now, I'm sorry, but I kind of want to save these two for part two of FoosyTube, an alternate reality. Because that second part is all about children, or rather how FoosyTube has been manipulating them for several years. Within it, I'll provide you with irrefutable proof that he took advantage of a child with brain cancer by using him as his proverbial shield to deflect the criticism he was receiving at the time. I'm yet to do that, so until I do... Don't just take my fucking word for it. Don't trust someone just because they say something is the case. Not me, not anyone, but certainly not this guy. Because for years, this bold bastard has brainwashed his audience into believing what he wants them to believe.
Hello, I am recording this on my laptop microphone at the moment. You might ask why I have done this, but there isn't really a reason, to be honest. If you think you hear a lawnmower in the background, you will be mistaken. That is actually the fan in my computer. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who waited patiently for uh, this video. I know I made several release dates for it, but for one reason or another, that kept getting uh, push back a bit. Now, I do have some very good reasons for doing that. Obviously, they are a bit personal, in inverted commas. I don't really wish to elaborate further on it, but basically, time is not something I have too much of at the moment. And between work and, and all this other shit, I just haven't had a chance to finish. At the end of the day, I make this fucking rubbish for my own entertainment. That's the main reason, anyways. But I must admit, I haven't altogether enjoyed making this one. What's going to be a little bit concerning, considering how much time I've spent on it, is that, in all likelihood, he's going to take down the video. And I'll probably go a bit insane on Twitter for a day or two, so a bit of a heads up there. But the truth is, I knew that before I started working on the video, and I did it anyway. If I actually enjoyed making it, I wouldn't care so much. But trust me, I really didn't. Don't get me wrong, I am pleased with the end result. I think it is my best video so far, this part probably not included, but the time it's taken to get here just isn't worth it. YouTubers that double upload, sometimes fucking double upload, are making me look pretty bad at this point. And I've got a bit of a minor gripe with some of those people actually, but particularly the ones that have made videos on FuzzyDube in the last couple of months, because I'm sorry, I did do the fucking research, and a lot of what people have been saying is not altogether factual. It's not. The only reason that kind of gets under my skin a bit is because it becomes that much harder for me, or anyone else uh, for that matter, to convince people of what a fucking worm he is. And he is a worm. Like, he fucking is. I think if it was anyone else other than fucking FuzzyTube, I, I wouldn't really give a shit. Like, I'm more than happy just to make stupid jokes for 10 minutes or 3 seconds with the rest of them. And I think that's why I hated working on this fucking video. Because I hate FooseyTube. And I haven't really hated anyone on YouTube before. And so therefore, my main purpose, in fact, became to try and take him down, rather than just purely for the sole purpose of entertainment. And I think I went about this wrong. Not because of the video's result, but in the making of it. And I need to get back to the point where I'm doing this for one reason and one reason only. Because... I enjoy doing it. So, if after part two you see my content somewhat differ from this one in particular, don't be surprised because I should be doing this for me and not anyone else. Is this selfish? Yes. Do I care? No. Okay, the statement I made about the kid with cancer. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. I'm well aware, but that's why I'm going to spend the best part of 40 fucking minutes backing it up. And I'm going to stop talking about YouTube now. It's just, I really don't fucking like the guy. Like, I know I'm a cunt. I'm well aware of this. I'm well aware of this. I'm well aware it's just one cunt calling another cunt a cunt. But FuzzyTube is a really, really, really big cunt. Okay? So, let's talk about another cunt instead. His name, Bionic Pig. It's a good name. Especially the pig part. Pig is my favorite word and insult, by the way, if you didn't know. Actually, calling someone any type of animal is the best insult, because you can offend them, but they can't act offended, because at the end of the day, they're just being called a specific animal. Now, think about it. It's, it's pretty genius. Anyways, Bionic Pig, who has been waiting for the shout-out for literally fucking months at this point, makes very similar content to mine, and I'm just going to say this now. It's not as good. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do in here?